Hey, hey, guess what I'm doing? Something for the very first time. I am getting on walmart.com and I'm trying out their free pickup, their free grocery pickup. So I have a huge long list of things this side and even on the back. And I just put it all in my cart. It was super easy to just go online and do that. But now I'm, I've never done it before and I have wondered about it because Here's why, I'll tell you why. Because I like to pick out my own produce. I like to not make sure, make sure there's no bruises. I wanna have the most beautiful pineapple. You know, I wanna, I wanna pick out my produce. And I was in there one day and I was talking to a lady and I said, hey, what about this pickup? What about this grocery pickup? And I said, how do I even know who, what kind of produce I'm gonna get? And she says, oh, don't you worry. I'm the one that's in charge of that. And I picked the very best of everything. And she said, you don't even need to worry about that. And I was like, really? Okay. So I think that um, that kind of put my mind at rest as far as getting what I want to get that way. So I'm gonna give it a try. Another thing that I'm really excited about is that you know, my dog Toby loves Old Roy, and so I will get the Old Roy dog food, the big 50 pound bags, and it's so hard to pull out. And I make Rick do it on our dates, and I'll just say, hey, can we stop at Walmart and get some dog food so you can lift it? And he doesn't always love it, but he signed the contract, so, and he does it like a champ, bless his heart. But anyway, why not let the guys that work there, let the big guys pack those big dog food bags. That's what they're getting paid for, right? That's their job. So anyway, I'm excited about that. I don't have to pick those up anymore. I hope they send me an email or something telling me what the instructions are, and I'll just go and pull up, I guess. I don't know, but I'm gonna take a camera with me so I can document this, and I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it goes. Tune in tomorrow. And I have to say that the only reason I go to Walmart, because sometimes it's just so big and so many weird people in there, so many great souls, so many good, good people go to Walmart. And I mean that. Anyways, lots of people go to Walmart. But the reason I go specifically is because I love that there's that sh uh, uh, savings catcher app and I have saved so much money on that where it price matches for you on all the stores around your wherever you live it checks all the stores around in your area and if there's something that you bought that's cheaper somewhere else it automatically puts it in your little e-card on the app and I have had so many times when I can cash out my e-card and put it towards groceries and it just saves so much and it's worth it to me because I'm feeding a large family and you know large teenage boys eat a lot and so that's why I go and I will always go because of that and I love the savings catcher so if you were wondering why I do that's why I do so we'll see how it goes tomorrow Okay, well I'm glad I came over here because I followed the yellow pickup signs and you don't go to the very front. For some reason I thought you go to the very front door, but you don't. You just pull into these parking spots that say pickup. I didn't know that. And here I'll turn it around, turn this camera around. You can see that I'm right here, reserved in spot one. There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's even further ones back there. But anyway, um, I could I could easily just be here on my phone. I could be doing paperwork. I could be sleeping. Um, I can see why people that work would really love this. Like after work, you could come and just sit here, relax. You don't have to walk around if your feet hurt. Oh my gosh, could this be them? Okay, I'm, I'm right here with Philip, and I had to ask him the question. So are you the one that does all my shopping? Uh, I was not this morning, but occasionally I do end up doing the shopping for people. Okay. It just depends on how many people we have on board or what shift uh, the worker is doing that day. Okay, all right. And it comes in these and these little, uh, what do you call them, bins, buckets? Uh, we just call them totes. Totes. Actually. They come in totes. This is not all mine. This is this is someone else's and this is mine. So I think he's going to help me, right? Are you going to help me load them? Yep, and I don't have to if I don't want to, right? Nope, you don't. <laughs> oh, you could do it all for me. Okay, okay Philip, thank you so much you. for doing that. Sure thing. And he's got them all loaded into my car and I will do it again. Okay. So. Here's another funny thing. I ran into <laughs> sweet Annie who was our favorite babysitter. One of them. Back we in had, the day. Yeah, lots of babysitters. <laughs> but we love Annie and she pulled up right in the car next to me 
and she was watching me and, yep. and she, I didn't even know it was her until she said something but Annie said what you've done this how long I've been doing this for maybe a year and it's fantastic when you have little people that don't want to go in the car or into the store and they just want to hang out with me in the car where how they do it. great that would have been when I had little kids but I <laughs> had to haul the kids yep. all and it was hard when you have three or more mm -hmm. and you buy more you buy more when you go in the store than what you do when you just shop online oh, she's so smart <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Annie. <laughs> How fun was that? And now look, there's Philip over there helping somebody else. Hang on, do I know her too? I think I know her too. I think that's Marcy Tidbits. I was right. It's Marcy <laughs> Tidbits. And I will link her because she is the best instant pot author slash Instagrammer, blogger. blogger. Yeah, she's awesome. So, Wars, okay, so I had no idea that you do it. She does this all the time. So, since oh, when? How it. long have you been doing it? Um, God, I think it's been, it's been at least over a year. I mean, I started doing it right when they came out with it. Just because it, you know, to drag in young kids to do your grocery shopping, it takes twice as long. Everybody's mad by the time you get to the car. It just wasn't worth it. And so, do you get all your instant pot ingredients from Walmart? <laughs> well, most of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> so. I love that I ran into you. This is so fun. Okay, I will link her. Okay, well, that was fun. Who else am I going to see here? I just love those two girls. Love those. They're such good friends of mine. Anyway, I am sold on this whole, no one's here now, but I am sold on this whole Walmart pickup thing. Um, I think at first I was a little bit worried about the app because the app was causing me trouble, but now that I know and have done it like I've done it, I think I'm just gonna pull in and call them. That's what Annie said. She says, just call them, they'll be right out. And Marcy said she's kind of had to wait, especially on Saturdays. So note to self, don't do the pickup on Saturday. And I usually don't, I usually do my groceries during the week anyway so yay okay now i'm gonna get home oh and a question about the milk so i asked philip uh how long has my milk been sitting out and he said no we keep it in a reefer in the back it was nice and cold i felt how nice and cold it was so if any of you are worried about eggs or milk or any of that but i'll tell you what i'm still thinking about that dog food that 50 pound dog food that philip was a beefy kid and he looks like he can take that dog food no problem it's his new job. Thanks, Walmart. Okay, I am on day two of the Walmart grocery pickup and it's only been one week. But I have along with me two of my girlfriends, my daughter and her friend. <laughs> anyway, we're in um, we're in spot number three today, and I have got my groceries all called in and Oh my gosh, here's Philip from the other day. Maybe he's got our cart. <gasps> okay, well, it's not Philip because he has gone back inside. We'll wait for whoever is coming. And the guy in um, reserve spot number six is watching me. Oh, and now there's somebody right next to us, right next to us. I wonder what she ordered in her cart. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. She just glared at us. <laughs> okay. We just got back from another Walmart grocery pickup experience. And now I'm sitting here thinking, who on earth is gonna come out and load my groceries into the house for me? I shouldn't have to do that. And I'm pretty sure he's not gonna help me. What the? Oh, yep, nope, that means nope. That means no, mom, I'm not doing it. So who's gonna help me? Oh, yes. If you honor your mother, will you please haul the groceries into the house, please? Is that a big honking yes? Here I am, another day, another Walmart pickup. This has saved my life. This will save your life if you use the Walmart pickup. You will be grateful. 
sponsored by Walmart? <laughs> no, I am not sponsored by Walmart. I just love the Walmart grocery pickup. And I know you will too. Okay, well, this is probably my fourth time doing the grocery pickup and it just happens to be my 50th birthday today. And I want to thank Walmart for giving me the birthday present of not having to shop in their store. Thank you, that is a gift. Here I am at the Walmart, Walmart again, but this time it's not the grocery pickup and I will tell you why. For some reason, Walmart doesn't think that because you are ordering online that you should be able to price match. That's wrong. Walmart, that's wrong. It should not matter if we are spending $300 online or spending $300 in the store, we should be able to price match. That's the only reason I shop at Walmart because I can price match and match all the prices in the valley where I'm at and get get money back and it's a great it's a great great thing but if I can't price match and not only that but now I have to go inside I have to shop inside with all the people so I, uh, I think that my days of online grocery pickup were wonderful when I didn't know that they would not price match, but now I'm just, I can't take advantage of it any longer. And I hope that Walmart is listening to little old me and thinking, gosh, you know what? She's a great customer. She has a family of six that lives at home and she spends a lot of money in our store. She ought to be able to price match. And until you do, Walmart, I just cannot do the grocery pickup and like it's going to affect you. But it affects me. It makes me sad and angry. So my thing is, if you would like to, if you want to price match, don't do the grocery pickup because you'll be paying full price, which I never do when I come to Walmart. And not only that, now today I have to go and get my own 50 pound bag of dog food and lift it into the cart not happy. I won't be shopping, doing the online gro grocery shopping anymore. I have to go inside and I want to just throw a fit about it because I really, 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 really liked that Walmart pickup. So anyway, I was in love, but the love affair is over. Life will go on and maybe one day Walmart will make a change for the better. So Thanks for watching. It's been a ride. It's been fun and no more pickup. Darn it.